looks up as the street light above his head flickers and goes out. In the playground, the empty swings start to move. The roundabout turns and a seesaw clumps down onto the grass. In front of him, a huge black dog looms out of the bushes. Harry slowly rises to his feet. Harry pulls out his wand and stumbles backwards onto the pavement. A bright light approaches. A purple triple-decker bus draws up. The conductor reads from a tatty piece of card. Welcome to the night bus. Emergency transport for a stranded witch or wizard. My name is Stan Shunbright and I will be your conductor for this evening. Putting the card in his pocket, he looks down at Harry. What are you doing down there? I fell over. What you fell over for? I didn't do it on purpose. Oh, come on then. Let's not wait for the grass to grow. Harry stares nervously at the bushes. What are you looking at? Nothing. Well, oh, come on then, eat. No, 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 I'll get this, you get it. Stan picks up the trunk and Harry steps inside the bus. Oh. On the lower deck is a row of beds, one of which is occupied. Above his head, Harry sees galleries and a chandelier hanging from the roof. Come on, move on, move on, move on. Stan Shunpike turns the handle of his machine and gives Harry a bus ticket. Stan knocks on the driver's window. Take her away, eh? Yeah? yeah, take it away, Ernie. It's going to be a bumpy ride. The rest of Harry and shrunken head hanging above the driver laughs. Ernie starts the bus. Harry falls backwards onto a bed. <laughs> So your name was again? I didn't. Well, we're about to see you in. The Leaky Cauldron. That's in London. Do you hear that, Ern? The Leaky Cauldron. That's in London. The Leaky Cauldron. <laughs> hey, you have the pizza. Make sure you eat it before you eat it. <laughs> and he peers through thick lenses and drives erratically. What's the muggles? Will they see us? Muggles? They don't see nothing, do they? No, to be jumped with a fork in their feet. Reaches to a halt. Harry's face hits the window. An old lady with a walking frame shuffles in front of the bus. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, three and a half, two, one and three quarters. Yes! Harry sees a picture in Stan's newspaper. Who is that? That man. Who is that? Who is... That is Sirius Black, that is. Don't tell me you've never been hearing a Sirius Black. He's a murderer. Got himself locked up in Azkaban for it. How did he escape? Well, that's the question, isn't it? He's the first one that done it. He was a big supporter. Buses drive straight at them. Ernie pulls a lever. The bus and its occupants become narrow enough to squeeze between them. Hey guys, guys, why the long faces? The bus hurtles off again down a narrow street. Harry hits the window again. They bump a parked car. The leaky cauldron. Next up, nocturnal. Ah, Mr. Potter. At last. Tom, the hunchbacked innkeeper, grins at Harry. Take it away, eh? Yeah, take it away. The purple bus disappears into the night. Harry follows Tom into the leaky cauldron. Inside the gloomy public house.